the next question from the brother on the right side. Assalamu alaikum brother. Uh, I have a question. There are certain Muslims who argue that they do not wear a cap and a beard because they may sometimes indulge in un-Islamic activities like bribing, cheating, telling lies, etc. which will spoil the name of Islam if they are identified as Muslim. Are they correct? So let us pose the question that there are certain Muslims who say and argue that we don't wear the label, the cap and the beard because there are times that we may indulge in wrong activities, un-Islamic activities like bribing, cheating, telling lies. So we don't want to spoil the name of Islam. They are concerned, Alhamdulillah. They are concerned about Islam. So therefore they say we don't want to wear the label. There are two types of people. One is a pessimist and one is an optimist. The pessimist is a person who always thinks at the negative angle. And there are such people who we are quoting. We don't want to wear the label because sometimes once in a blue moon we may do wrong activity like bribing, cheating, telling lies. But we don't want to spoil the name of Islam. So I tell them that why don't you be an optimist? That if you know that sometimes we do bad things and once you start wearing the label, the cap and the beard, and suppose it happens that the opportunity arises that you have to bribe. You start thinking, oh, now I'm wearing the label. How can I bribe? And you will not bribe, alhamdulillah. If the opportunity comes where you can cheat and you realize, oh, I'm wearing a label, how can I spoil the name of Islam? You will not cheat. If you have to tell a lie to support what you're saying and you realize, oh, I'm wearing a label, cap and the beard, you will not lie. Irrespective whether it benefits you in this world or not, it will, inshallah. Inshallah, in the akhirah, it will benefit you. And I ended my talk by quoting the verse of the Quran from Surah Isra, chapter 17, verse 81, that if you are a Muslim, Muslim means a person who submits his will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's proud to be a Muslim. He's proud to submit his will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Proud to follow a religion of haq. If he's truly a Muslim, he should also follow the haq. And if he's on the haq, the Quran says in Surah Isra, chapter 17, verse 81, وَقُلْ جَعَ الْحَقْ وَذَاقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ لَبَاطِلَ قَانَ أَزَوْكَ When truth is heard like in falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. So what I tell such people, that if you feel that once in a while if you do wrong activities and if you wear the label to spoil the name of a label, instead of being a pessimist, you become an optimist. You wear a label and inshallah it will make you a better Muslim. And if you are so much concerned about the Muslim Ummah and the name of Islam, it will, besides helping the Muslim Ummah, it will even help you. It will help you and see to it that you remain on Siratul Mustaqeem. Hope that answers the question.